Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. Hello, Alita. Hello, Tatiana. Welcome to class. How are you, teacher? You look so funny. <laughs> yes, it's because I don't know why I we got this problem, but now it's fixed. <laughs> It's like I have to turn off the camera and then turn it on again and it, and it is fixed. Okay, so welcome to your class number four, no, 14, right? Class number 14. And let me share the screen, the class presentation for you. Good afternoon, Biden. Welcome to the class. Good afternoon, teacher. Hmm. Okay, um, let's see. Today's topic is simple present questions and conversations about I love sports. Today is Tuesday, February 8th, 2022, and it's the class number 14, which means that we only have two more classes. And see you later. <laughs> Or nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, so let's be, let's start with the agenda. Let's read the well, no, the lesson objectives first. Byron, can you please read the lesson objectives we have for today's class? By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Great pronunciation, Biden. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. so you will learn, Thanks, you already know about WH questions, you're welcome. But you need to practice and you will learn a little bit more about it, especially how to use the question word who, questions with who and the conversation in which you will see how WH questions are used in real life. So we have the following activities recalling previous knowledge, activity two, WH questions, activity three, conversation practice and wrap up. So let's begin with activity number one. Remember that who we, we use it to ask for a person. What? to ask about a thing or an action. When to ask about a time. Where about a place. How is the way something is or the way something happens? How? And why is the reason? Why? Also we have how often, which means con cuanta frecuencia o cuan a menudo, right? The frequency, how often. How long, quiere decir, cuánto dura, how long. It's about duration of time, how long. Okay, good. So now guys, the, the activity is this. You are going to type in the chat questions. You want to ask me, you want to ask the teacher. So you type the questions and I will answer all the questions you want to ask me, okay? So it's just practice, it's just practice for questions, okay? So please, it's a time for you to interview the teacher, all the questions you want to ask me, okay? Oh, we got the first question. And it says, when is your birthday? <laughs> well, it's on February 17th. So it's next week, I think. Oops, it's not messy. Number seven is not working well. 17th, okay? So it's, I guess, next week, I guess. Let me check. The calendar, yes, it's next Thursday, but not this one, from the other week. <laughs> okay, more questions, more questions with WH, WH questions. Information, 
How many? <laughs> when was the last time that you ate guanaba? <gasps> I don't remember, to be honest. Oops, what happened? To be honest, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember when was the last time. When the last time I ate guanaba. Where do you live? I live on the way to Los Planes de Renderos. In San Salvador. What's your favorite food? Oh, I like many things, but I think my favorite food is tacos. What do you prefer, eating pizza or eating vegetables? Oh, that's difficult, Carlita. It's a difficult question because we like pizza. Well, I like pizza and I also like vegetables. But I think I prefer to eat vegetables. Because there, are, there is um, some kind of pizza that I don't like and it's bad for my tummy. Hello, Noemi. Good afternoon. They are in the activity. We Hello, are, teacher. You have to type questions in the chat. Questions you want to ask me. You want to know about the teacher. Why don't I like sushi? Why don't I like you sushi? Okay, why don't you like sushi? Mm, I think, I think it's because of the smell. It's strange. When you go to the beach, when do you go to the beach? Mm, well, I usually go no, no, no vacation. Uh, well, I usually go with my family and we don't have like a special occasions to go to the beach. It's just like, let's go this weekend <laughs> and we go. But also sometimes we have gone to the beach on December 31st because we avoid the noise and, and all the noise of and the smoke from the fireworks so we go to the beach and we stay there like very relaxing more questions or no more questions let me check mm, byron your question noemi Who is your favorite member of your family? Hmm, well, my mother. Where do you prefer to visit, Canada or United States? Oh, well, I think I will prefer to visit United States because there are some places from the United States that I want to go, that I want to visit. So I would go there. What time do you go to bed? I usually go to bed at 9.30. Uh, what food do you not like? What food don't you like? Mm. Well, as I said, I don't like sushi. I don't like shells, which are conchas, right? Um, I don't like rabbit or total egg, those exotic food. <laughs> or greasy food. Comida grasosa, greasy food. When do you born? Ah, okay, that question is when, it's in the past, when were you born? Okay, when were you born? I was born in, on February 
1993. So that means I'm 28 years old, almost 29. What is your favorite clothes that you buy? What is your favorite clothes that you buy or shoes? Hmm. I love buying dresses. Yeah, I love dresses. And high heels <laughs> or sandals. <laughs> okay. More questions? How do you feel? Mm. I feel happy today. <laughs> uh, my favorite color. I think it's, oh, that's difficult, but I think it's red. I love red color in in, in clothes and, and in shoes, bags, and accessories. I think it's a very elegant color, red. The color of love. Um okay. Very good. So thank you guys. You were practicing the structure of the questions and now I know how you are using them. Okay, good, but good for you. So let me continue sharing this. <laughs> Carlita, what do you prefer, dresses or pants? Uh, it depends, it depends, but I prefer, I think I prefer dresses. <laughs> Again, I have another problem here. I, I, let me see if I do this, maybe. It's gonna get better, doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> good. So let's see what the next activity is. Okay, so remember, who to ask for a person, what, things or actions, when, time, where, a place, how, the way something is, the way something happens, it depends, right, because how all to ask about age, how often, frequency, how long, duration of time, why, por qué, the reason. Now, here we have a, pro a conversation between Lauren and Justin. Let's read the conversation. It says, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, it was a very interesting conversation. Like she's thinking that he plays many sports, but he doesn't. He just watch them, watches them. Okay. So now you are going to create a similar conversation, okay? But before that, let me explain to you the structure of WH questions. Which ones do you see in this conversation? Which co questions can you identify? What do you? What do you do in your free time? Exactly. And this is going to be the question of your conversation. What do you do in your free time? Why do twice? 
Why is do two times in this question? What sport do you like? Vamos a ver, ¿por qué está aquí el do dos veces? What do you do in your free time? Because one is the auxiliary and the second is a verb, I think. Okay. Exactly, Anita, that is the, the, the answer. Do here is the auxiliary. To make questions in the simple present, we use the auxiliary do. We use the verb do, which in this case is an auxiliary verb. Do or in the third person singular, does. And then we yeah. have the verb, right? The verb do. ¿Qué haces? El verbo hacer, ¿verdad? ¿Qué haces tú en tu tiempo libre? What do you do in your free time? Or in your downtime? Okay. Oh, another question. Carlita dijo ahí. Carlita said the, the other question. Yes. What sport do you like? Exactly. After the question word, you can also use like a compliment, right? What sports, what food, what color, what music, whatever thing, right? What sports do you like, okay? And we have a structure, auxiliary, ver, a subject, verb. Auxiliary, subject, verb, okay? And we have the other question. The last one is when, do you play all these sports? When? Cuando juegas todos estos deportes o practicas? When do you play all these sports? Again, we have WH question, do, auxiliary, subject, verb, and complement. Okay? So you see, English is easy. It's a piece of cake. Let's, let's learn more about it. We have here, what sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Okay, what is peculiar about who? Como está preguntando de alguien, ¿verdad? Con quién? Para preguntar, ¿con quién juegas? ¿Con quién juegas béisbol? Entonces, usamos with. We need to add with. Who do you play baseball with? Another example is, who do you live with? ¿Con quién vives? Who do you live with? ¿Con quién almuerzas? Who do you have lunch with? ¿Con quién bailas? Who do you dance with? Okay. So we need to add with. And the answer will have with. I play with some friends. I have lunch with my boyfriend. I dance with my best friend. Okay. Who do you talk with? ¿Con quién hablas? Who do you talk with? I talk with my mom. More questions. Where do you play? The answer is a place. We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. So remember, WH question word, auxiliary, do or does. Remember that this is important. Also, as you were making negative questions, it, here it would be negative. Let me see if I can add that. Oops, give me a moment, please.
we're going to have this exception. <laughs> You were making a negative questions. For example, teacher, why don't you like sushi? And in that case, we the auxiliary will have don't, will be negative, don't, okay? Don't. Why don't you like sushi? And I will ask you, why don't you like pacayas. Why don't you like pacayas? Okay, so that is the structure. It's the same. WA question, the auxiliary, but in this case negative because it's a negative question. You, the subject, like the verb, and we have the complement. Okay. Or for example, who another question. Miren esta otra pregunta, miren cómo la voy a formular. Who doesn't, who doesn't, um, let's say, who doesn't turn on the camera on the, in the class? Okay. <laughs> who doesn't turn on the camera in the class? Okay, look at the structure of this question and tell me, um what is what is different what is different in this question we have wh question who we have the auxiliary doesn't and we have the verb turn on and we have the camera the complement the camera in the class so what is different here according to the structure And I you don't use with. Ah, okay. I'm not. That is one. Bueno, porque no estoy preguntando con quién, verdad? Si no estoy preguntando quién. Who doesn't turn on the camera in the class? ¿Cómo dice esa pregunta en español? ¿Quién apagó la cámara en la clase? No, ¿quién? En el salón. <risa> ¿Quién no enciende? Ah, ¿Quién no ¿Quién enciende, no enciende? Ajá, la cámara en la clase? Entonces, como aquí, si se fijan, aquí, miren la estructura. WH question, do or does, or don't and doesn't, subject, verb, and complement. WH question, doesn't, verb, complement. We are missing here something. The subject. The subject. There is no subject. And it's correct. Why? Because in this case, we don't know the subject. The subject of the action. We want to know. So we ask. And we usually use the third person singular. Okay. Another one. Who has a cat? Who has a cat? Mm, more examples. Who participates in class? Who 
who plays the guitar? Who uh, loves tacos? In, Mex in Mexican food. So as you know, we in this case, we use the verb in third person singular form because we don't know the subject. En este caso, como no sabemos el sujeto, eso es lo que estamos preguntando. ¿Quién? ¿Quién tiene un gato? ¿Quién participa en clase? ¿Quién toca la guitarra? Muy bien. ¿Quién ama los tacos? Muy bien, como estamos hablando del present, we are learning about the present, the verb will be in the present, Capita. Cuando sea el pasado, usted también puede preguntarlo en pasado. Por ejemplo, ¿quién se comió mi sándwich? Who ate my sandwich? ¿Quién hizo la tarea? Who did my homework? Who did the homework? O ¿quién, um, quién, um, let's see, ¿quién lavó los trastes? Who washed the dishes? ¿Quién participó en clase? Uh, who participated in class yesterday? Pero como ahorita estamos viendo el presente, simple present questions, right? Simple pre present questions. The, the verb is in the present, ¿ok? Ya, ya van a llegar al pasado. Espérense un poquitín. <laughs> I think in the next, in the next module you study the past. Pero igual ustedes también pueden investigar and that would be great for you. Muy bien, entonces tenemos dos formas en cómo usar el who. Así, miren. Do, does, subject, verb, and with. Escribamos ejemplos usando con el with en el chat. Voy a escribir yo unos cuantos ejemplos y luego todos mandan sus ejemplos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I write, who do you live with? ¿Con quién vives? Who do you live with? Who does your brother play video games with? ¿Con quién juega videojuegos tu hermano? Who does your sister go out with? ¿Con quién sale tu hermana? Who does your sister go out with? Who do you... Um, let's see. Who do you go to the movies with? ¿Con quién vas al cine? Hmm. Okay. Now, please, I'm waiting for your... Who do you eat pizza with? Okay. I see Carlita loves pizza. Who do you eat pizza with? Okay. Who do you eat shorties with? <laughs> Who do you eat pupusas with on weekends? Who do you play the guitar with? ¿Con quién tocas la guitarra? Who do you go to the market with? ¿Con quién vas al mercado? Who do you sing with? ¿Con quién cantas? Okay, now I mean, we are waiting for your example. Who do you talk with? Who does your father go to his job with? Oh, who are you going for a walk with? Mm. 
Ah, vaya, en ese caso, Noemi está usando el presente progresivo. Quizás sería, who do you go to the park with? Who does your brother study with? Very good, Byron. Vamos a ver aquí, Carlita me pregunta, que me pregunta. Who does your father go to his job with? Yes, it's correct. ¿Con quién va tu padre al trabajo? Excellent. Tatiana, who do you eat pizza with? Okay, another example, Tati. Who do you go to school with? Okay, who does your cousin make hay with? Nice. Who do you watch a movie with? Oh, with your girlfriend, Byron. <laughs> who does your brother play soccer with? Excellent. Wow, guys, I see you understand the topic. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now, who do you work with? Yes, nice, Noemi, perfect. That was a great example. ¿Con quién trabajas? Who do you work with? Congratulations, guys. You are a master of using WH questions. With who? Now, we are going to use the other way. Who with not subject, okay? With no subject. Aquí está. We don't know the subject. Okay, we don't know. That's why we're asking who, quién, quién, quién hizo eso. En el ante los ejemplos anteriores es con quién haces la acción. Okay, who lives there? Recuerden que va a ir con tercera persona. Who lives there? For example, who has a Who has a parrot? ¿Quién tiene un perico? <laughs> Or who lives in Santa Ana? Or who calls you? ¿Quién te habla? Who calls you every night? Who has a pencil? Excellent, Anita. Who drives the red car? Excellent, Byron. Who came out? Oh, quien salió? Bien, Tatiana, solo que está en pasado. Who works every day? Who plays now? Okay. Who plays the tennis on weekends? Who plays tennis? Ahí no usa el da. Carlita, solo who plays tennis on weekends? Noemi. Who eats hamburger? I eat hamburgers. I love hamburgers. Vamos a ver, who likes pacaya? <laughs> I think Byron likes it. Oh, who, who likes sushi? Who ate the cake? Ok, ya se han pasado. ¿Quién se comió el pastel? Who likes carrots? I do, Anita. Who loves mangoes? Who loves green mangoes? I do, I do. Who likes cars? Who likes tacos? Yes, I love tacos. <laughs> Excellent, ya veo que sí. Okay, very nice, very nice. Now let's practice using the negative form. ¿Ok? Para preguntar, no. ¿Quién no 
eh, cuándo no, dónde no, o por qué no. ¿Ok? For example, why, why don't you go with me? ¿Por qué no vas conmigo? Why don't you go with me? Eh, or who? Who doesn't do Who doesn't do the, the cleaning? ¿Quién no hace la limpieza? Who doesn't do the cleaning? Why don't you play soccer? Oh, it's, I'm not good at soccer. Why don't you drink more water? You need it. Why doesn't she go with you? ¿Por qué no va ella contigo? Why doesn't she go with you? Why don't you eat garlic? <laughs> yes, garlic is delicious. Why doesn't do you exercise? Ah, okay. Ahí sería, why don't, why don't you do exercise? Porque no te ejercitas. Why don't you do exercise? Or why don't you exercise? Uh -huh. Why don't you do exercise? Or why don't you exercise? Why don't you go running? Uh -huh. Okay, very good, Tatiana. I don't go running because I don't have time. Okay, good job. Excellent. Bye. Now let's do questions using where. Who doesn't make a cake? Quien no hace pasteles? <laughs> okay, who doesn't like cooking? A ver, ¿a quién no le gusta cocinar? Who doesn't like cooking? Why don't eat fish? Ok, why don't you eat fish? Ahí le faltó el... El... ¡Ay! El sujeto, Carlita. Why don't you go to sleep early? Ok. Because I have a lot of homework. <laughs> why don't you go to sleep early? Why don't you eat fish? Okay, now guys, let's make questions with where, okay? For example, where does your, uh, your mother live? Uh, where do you have your English class? Where do you have your English class? At work, at home? At your neighbor's house. <laughs> okay, where where do you buy your vegetables? Oh, Anita, I try. I try to sleep a nap every day, but sometimes I can't. Like yesterday, I couldn't <laughs> because my computer had a problem. Okay, questions with where? Where do you study? Very good, Byron. Where do you sleep yesterday? <laughs> okay, Carlita, ahí es en pasado. Ahí tendríamos que poner el auxiliar en pasado. Where did you sleep yesterday? Okay. Where is your book? Okay, Tatiana, but you're using the verb be. Why try to use other verbs using do or does? Okay. Where do you live? Where do you buy your shoes? Excellent. Mm -hmm.
Where do you usually go on weekends? Where does she go? Where do you buy that? Where? Where is it? Where does he, where does she go? Okay, a donde va ella? Donde compras, where do you want, where do you buy the work? Where does he live? Lives, ahí ya no llevaría la S, Byron, porque ya el auxiliar nos dice que es tercera persona. Where does he live? Okay, now, let's make questions with when. For example, when do you go to bed? When do you see your friends? When do you have dinner? When do you go to the supermarket? I go every week. Where does she eat? Okay, donde come? When do you see your friends? When do you go to the supermarket? When do you eat pupas? <laughs> On weekends. I have another question. When does the course finish or end? <gasps> it finishes on Thursday. Okay, Carlita, esa sería when is your mother's, your mother's birthday? When is your mother's birthday? But using do and does, different, like when do you, when do you celebrate, for example, Mother's Day? When do you get to work? No, vaya carita, sería en el, su caso. When is your mother's birthday? Ahí sería con is. Okay, excellent. Now, guys. Vamos a practicar, vamos a ver. We still have 15 minutes. So you have to now create a conversation in pairs about what do you do in your free time, okay? What do you do in your free time? That is the topic. Good, Noemi. When do you visit my family? Every, every two weeks, twice a month. Okay, what do you do in your free time? In your free or downtime? También se dice así. Okay, that is the topic of your conversation practice. So let's create, let's create groups. Good afternoon. You and me. <laughs> no, Carlita, is the con Byron y Tatiana. Um, aquí estoy en esta sala. No, esta es la principal, la regresó, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero no la puedo mover. No le sale la notificación. Ya le va a salir. De la sala 2, room 2. Bye. But meanwhile, maybe we can talk about what do you do in your free time, Carlita? Well, in my free time, I prefer to stay with my family. 
Um, when, when I have a long time, I went to visit my best friend because my best friend is who, como mi hermano, who is my sister. I don't like know. my sister. We like my sister. She is like my sister. He or she? She's like my sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. I go oh. to visit my best friend. I go to visit my best friend. I go to visit my best my best friend. Best friend. Best friend because she likes my sister. Um, come, your best friend is boy or girl? Girl. Ok, es que dice, voy a visitar a mi mejor amiga porque a ella le gusta a mi hermana. No, es como mi hermana. Ah, because she is like uh, my sister. She is sí. like my sister. She is like my sister. Uh -huh. Ah, de acuerdo. Because she is like my sister, uh, I have three brothers and I only girls Be because I prefer to visit my best friend when I have time. Okay, so you only have sisters, you don't have brothers. Yes, I had three brothers, but I am only girl. Oh, so you don't have sisters? No, I you don't have, have sisters. brothers. Okay, so yes. your best friend is like your sister. Yes. Okay. Mm, let me see. When do you visit your best friend? Uh, my best friend work. Uh, all week and my boyfriend had tie only the weekends maybe the next weekend I will go to visit okay um, what else? <laughs> where does your best friend live where does your best friend live now my best friend lives in San Salvador for he for her job, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but he lives near to my home. Lives near your house. And where do you live, Carlita? I live in Ilovasco City. Oh, Ilovasco! It's a nice place. Yes, and my best friend lives near around three minutes to walk. Three meters or three kilometers? Minutes. Miles. 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 Minutos. Oh, minutes. Three Caminando. minutes from your house. Sería around long. three minutes. Around. Very good. Okay. Excellent, Carlita. <laughs> Excellent. And okay. If we, if we, um, it, we have to present the conversation. Okay. So we improvise. Mm -hmm. The same conversation we had. I, no entendí. <laughs> Que para presentar la conversación in front of the class, en frente de la clase, hacemos esa misma que hicimos ahorita. Vaya, está bien. Ok. Tatiana and Byron, do you have your conversation?
Okay, Carlita and I will start. Hey, Carlita, what do you like um, to, what do you do in your free time? Well, in my free time, I prefer to stay at home or when I had time, I prefer to visit my family. Oh, really? Yes. And when I have a time, I visit my best friends because now I don't have uh, I don't have sister and I prefer to visit to visit my best friend because he's a girl and she's like my sister. Oh nice Carlita I see and when do you see her? When do you go to visit her? Maybe I will go to visit my best friend the next the next weekend because my best friend lives in San Salvador City for her job. Okay, good. Um, where does she work? She works in, I don't know what is the name, but is the municipio que es Altepeque. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Carlita. Okay, Noemi and Anita. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Hello. Noemi? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What do you do in your free time? I sleep one hour sometimes. Oh, really? It is fantastic. When do you sleep? I sometimes sleep in the afternoon. In the afternoon, good. Uh, how often? Ah, uh, Digo, how often do you do exercise? I do exercise three times a week. What do you do? I running in the morning. And I write basically on oh. Sunday. Oh, excellent. Thanks. Good job, Anita and Noemi. That was a good job. Now, what about Tatiana and Byron? Tatiana is ready. Tatiana is ready. Yes. Sí, compañero. Ah. So, Tatiana, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Um, I love uh, baseball and soccer. Are my favorite? Are, are my favorite? Wow, you are a really good athlete. When do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play this sport. I do. I just watch them on television. Ah, uh, thanks. Okay. Okay, Tatiana and Biden read and practice the same conversation. Okay. Good. Now, guys, to finish the class, I will uh, I will send you a link of an exercise for you to work on it. It's about the use of WH questions, okay? When you finish, please send me the screenshot that you have worked on it.
I will send it via WhatsApp and via Zoom. There you go. What is the number one, guys? Uh, how do you go to how do you go to school? Excellent. Number two. Where does he work? Uh -huh. Next. When does class end? Excellent. Number four. What do your father do? Yes. What does your father do? I guess. Who do you see in the photo, number five? How do you see in the photo? How do you see? Who do you see in the photo, huh? Is the next is how many do you uh, consist co cops? Uh, no. How many? How many, how many do? <laughs> how many cons do you have? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, number seven. Why do you get up early on Sunday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which does kind of food you prefer? Which do you kind prefer? of food do you prefer? Okay, number nine. What is for? What, 
What the store does, does she, she play? play? Does she play? And the last one? Where does this train go? Yes. <laughs> Where does this train go? Okay, very good, guys. That was the class for today. We practiced WH questions. We studied the difference between with the use of the question were who? Do you remember? How do I say? Um, I don't know what happened, coach, but my note was zero. Really? Yes. Mm. Ah, no le puse el signo de interrogación. <laughs> okay. Was terrific. Ok, vamos a ver, eh, vamos a ver chicos, ¿qué aprendimos hoy entonces? Eh, for me today I learned the WH questions. WH questions, excellent. Eh, eh, for me... And mm -hmm. for me, I think that I never, I never know how we can use who because I only use it without the auxiliary all the time. <laughs> uh, we can use it with the auxiliary and with because we have a subject. And mm -hmm. when, when there is no subject, just who and the verb in the third person singular and also in negative you can make negative questions mm -hmm. okay so it was a very productive class <laughs> thank you so much and take care have a nice afternoon see you tomorrow bye teacher bye, bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. have a nice afternoon, afternoon.